Hey what's good YouTube, my name's Grey, you're watching Consoletronics, where recently I noticed a distinct lack of Nintendo related activity on my channel. In fact, I have never looked at any games for systems like the Nintendo 64 or GameCube, so today I thought I'd right that wrong with a video dedicated to some of the best exclusive titles for Nintendo's long awaited successor to the SNES and hailed by many as a potential PlayStation killer, in my N64 exclusive games special. It's me, Mario! There's a good reason why Nintendo are considered the Walt Disney of video games. Their games simply ooze an undefinable magic that no other studio can replicate. While many 2D franchises grappled with the newfangled 3D technology, Mario simply stomped out the opposition with his size 12 Italian boots. I haven't played this in donkey's years, but damn it, it still looks the business and plays just like I remember. A fantastic game that has truly stood the test of time. Not content with revolutionising 3D platformers, Nintendo would also turn their considerable talents to the RPG genre, with the first fully realised 3D adventure for everybody's favourite pointy-eared pipsqueak, Link, in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Rather than lose something in the transition from 2D, it would instead gain so much more in terms of charm, richness and scale. A pioneering work that is rightly held up even today as one of the greatest video games ever devised. As someone with little interest in driving games, it might surprise you to learn that I am such a big fan of the F-Zero series. Back in the 90s though, all my friends were playing Wipeout and its sequels on the PS1. But for me, F-Zero on the N64 was, and still is, by far the better game. Hard as old boots and us veterans of the 16-bit version wouldn't have it any other way. Great game. It says a lot about Nintendo as a company and the high standards they set for themselves when Mario Kart 64, which is universally regarded as the worst game in the franchise, is still 10 times better than any other racing game you want to compare it to. Yes, it has some major niggles, but a copy of this game and some friends round and you have all the ingredients necessary for a couple of hours of fun and fury. Well, after showing off many of the games most of you already know, I thought I'd hit you with one of the more obscure titles, because this game is almost unheard of outside of hardcore RPG circles, which is a real shame as this ambitious but deeply flawed adventure is one I think many of you would enjoy. Definitely not for everyone, but those who persevere with it will be well rewarded. And speaking of perseverance, we come to the treasure developed platform curiosity that is Mischief Makers. This is a game that has been misunderstood and underappreciated since its release, simply because so few took the time to learn the game's controls properly. This isn't a hidden gem, it has been deliberately ignored by the same idiots who claim that video games nowadays are all the same. Seriously, check this one out. I couldn't talk about great N64 games without delving into the back catalogue of Rare, the British studio who once upon a time delighted gamers the world over with some of the best games anybody had ever played, before selling their very souls to Bill Gates and Microsoft. Blast Corpse was one of the first titles I bought for my N64 way back in 97, and still a contender for one of my favourite games on the system. There's one phrase that consistently comes to my lips whenever a new Nintendo game hits store shelves, and that's 
fuck me, they've done it again. I don't know if it's something they put in the sake over at Nintendo HQ, or whether they just take great care about the products they release, but Sega, this is the level of quality we want to see from Sonic games. Not this, this. This is the standard that every other developer should be striving for. Now we come to a personal favourite franchise from the halcyon days of 16-bit gaming on the SNES. It's Goemon from Konami, better known in the West as the mental, mystical ninja series. I love this game, it's balmy and brilliant in equal measure, as you wander the land of feudal Japan, vanquishing evil and having a laugh. A great game from a great series. And for the final game I'm going to be showing off, it's Super Smash Bros. Yup, that's right, the series has been around that long, which makes it a little more embarrassing for me to admit that I have never played any of them. What you're looking at here is actually my very first time trying this bonkers beat-em-up, featuring a roster of Nintendo's most popular characters slugging it out. And I like what I've seen so far, and will be putting some more time into this one, and maybe the sequels as well, because I finally get to perform a long-held ambition I've had of beating the shit out of Yoshi. So that's your lot folks, I know there were a lot of others I could or should have included like GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Diddy Kong Racing or Conker's Bad Fur Day, but if this video gets enough views I will be back with a follow up. So until then let me just say thank you very much for watching and why not let me know the Nintendo 64 games you've enjoyed over the years in the comments. I'll have more videos up very soon, so please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Laters.